Welcome to the Autosys training video. By the end of this video, you will learn about manual event generation in Autosys and how to release blocked resources. Autosys operates based on events, which prompt the scheduler to perform specific actions automatically. However, due to business requirements, workload automation developers sometimes manually generate events to perform certain ad hoc workload tasks. The send event command utility lets you manually generate events. You can use manually generated events to complete certain system maintenance and workload management tasks, such as stop the scheduler or application server, start or stop jobs, change status of a job, assign values to global variables, bring a real machine offline or online, cancel a scheduled event, release blocked resources. To enhance your learning experience, we will use an example of a fictitious bank called the Hedmeral Bank and demonstrate how to release blocked resources using a release resource event. Hedmeral Bank uses multiple automation jobs to process thousands of daily transactions efficiently. These jobs, such as handling ATM and online banking transactions concurrently, ensure operational efficiency and timely customer service. During peak banking hours, the high user access volumes can increase the load on the database server, leading to performance degradation, causing slower response times for user transactions and affecting the overall responsiveness of the online banking system. To overcome this challenge, the workload automation developer can manually release resources from less essential tasks, such as virtual financial advisory services to ensure that critical customer service applications such as online banking portals or customer support systems have sufficient resources to handle increased demand efficiently. Let's enter our training environment to monitor the status of available resources and release them for further use. For this demo, we assume that the environment settings for Autosys are already in place. Connect to the Autosys server on a Linux operating system and open the primary and secondary shell prompts. Run the autorep command in the primary shell prompt to generate and check the virtual resources availability. You can see that the available resources are less than the defined resources. Let's release the blocked resources from the virtual financial advisory services job that is currently blocking some units of resources. To do so, start the job using the send event command with the release resource event in the primary shell prompt. This command releases the blocked resources associated with the Virtual Financial Advisory Services job. Now let's verify if the resources are released successfully. Run the autorep command in the primary shell prompt to generate a resource report. This time, the report shows that the defined resources match the available resources. Thank you for watching the training video.